In this video, we're going to write a Python program to find the third angle of a triangle when we're given the first two angles of the triangle from user input. So the three angles of the triangle need to add up to 180 degrees. So angle three plus angle two plus angle one needs to equal 180 degrees. If we rearrange this equation and move angle one to the right hand side of the equation, we'll get 180 minus angle one. If we move angle two to the right hand side of the equation, we'll get 180 minus angle one minus angle two. This will be how we actually calculate angle three once we've got angle one and angle two from the user. So we can actually just change this into a Python statement. We'll delete the comment and we'll turn this into an assignment. Next, we'll prompt the user to enter in angle one and we'll store what they enter into a variable called angle one. So we'll say angle one is equal to float input with the argument angle one colon. So we're gonna prompt the user with the text angle one colon. The input function is gonna return the string that the user enters. And float is gonna take that string and convert it to a floating point number so that we can use it in this calculation here. We'll do the exact same thing to get angle two. We'll say angle two is equal to float input. And then we'll have a prompt with angle two this time. Now we'll have the values needed to calculate angle three. And after we've calculated angle three, we can just output angle three. We'll have print angle three colon, and then angle three to output the actual calculated angle three value. So we can save this and run our program. And if we enter in angle one as 45 and angle two as 45, we get that angle three is 90 degrees, which is correct. Now, one thing with our program right now is that we're not doing any input validation. So for example, we could enter in angle one as 400 and angle two as 500. And we get that angle three is negative 720 degrees, which doesn't make any sense. To prevent this, before calculating and outputting angle three, we could check the angle one and angle two values provided by the user to ensure that they're actually valid. So we can have an if statement to check if angle one is between zero and 180 degrees. So we can have if angle one is greater than zero and angle one is less than 180 degrees, then we know that angle one is valid. We could also have a check to see if angle two is between these numbers as well. So is angle two greater than zero and is angle two less than 180 degrees. We also need to check that angle one and angle two when added together are less than 180. If they're not, angle three could be zero or negative, either of which would be invalid. So we could have a check here and, and we'll have angle one plus angle two is less than 180. So if all these conditions check out, then we'll output angle three. Otherwise, we'll output an error message. We'll have else and we'll print out angle one and or angle two is invalid. And we'll save this and try our program out. And now if we enter in values like 400 for angle one and 500 for angle two, we get angle one and or angle two is invalid. Adding input validation code like this to our programs can help prevent these kinds of errors. So this is how we can find the third angle of a triangle using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.